Women FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to Avery at home in the National League South. Uh, Aaron, it's been some start to the season so far. How have you? Uh, how's it gone for you? Uh, yeah, it's been good. I mean, not getting ahead of ourselves. It's only three games, but I think in the three games, or well, at least two out of three games, I think we performed really well. Um, I think we've had uh, worked on our patterns in play that we've done in training, implemented them really well in the first two games. Um, but like I said, we're not getting carried away. It's just three games. Defensively, it seemed a lot more solid since uh, Gary's come in, particularly as a defensive coach. A few clean sheets for yourself and Joe and Joel and everyone. How's that been as a tight knit unit? It's felt like you've looked a little bit more resilient this season. Yeah, I think we've been a bit more um, wary of sort of our defensive shape in and out of possession, especially as a back four and, and Rocco. Um, I mean, looking at the stats from last year, we can see way too many goals. So it's something that we as a, we as a group and obviously Hint and obviously Gary Cumberland and we want to work on and be better. Um, so we've done, we spoke about that in pre-season, we're hopefully implementing it quite well in games and we're also doing a lot more of individual sort of defending stuff and some group stuff with Gary in the sessions etc. So at the moment it's paying off but like I said before it's just, it's just three games. How have you felt personally about your season so far? Yeah good, good, felt fit, felt fit pre-season. Last pre-season I missed it a little bit so a bit of an um, Achilles issue so this pre-season touch wood. Um, fully fit, been at every session. Um, yeah. Good start to the campaign, and we'll keep it going with Avi on Saturday here at Woodside. It's a team that's snooty promoted, so maybe a little more of an unknown quantity than some other teams we could have come up against. What are you expecting from them? I think we've got obviously a, a day he played for their manager a few seasons ago, so he knows a lot about them, and he well about him as a manager. Um, but we've done our, our research, and we know what they're about and how they're going to play. Um, so, take like any other game, we'll go out there looking to win, um, but at the same time being cautious of, cautious of their threats. And Hinch was saying he went and watched their game on Monday and they looked like a, a really well oiled machine. And as a team that's just come up from the league below, it's sort of similar to our situation last year, they're a bit, they've probably got a bit more momentum coming into the season than other teams. Yeah, I think so. I think you just look at them and you compare them to us last year, I and mean, we just got promoted last year, ended up third in the league. Um, so you can't underestimate teams like Avery or again anyone in this league. I think it's competitive whichever end of the, at the table you go, especially this early on in the season. I mean, yeah, Western Super Mary as well been flying. There's, there's been a few teams that have come up and they've all gone straight up to the table. Yeah, my point exactly. So again, Western, I know the manager there quite well, but um, he'd have them sort of well organised and he'll have them playing some nice football. Um, so again, yeah, can't underestimate anyone. How do you think the group are feeling going into Saturday? Is everyone fresh and everyone fit? Uh, yeah, obviously we've got, a, we've got a training group now out there who, there's a few lads who have just come back from injuries, little niggles, um, need a bit more a bit more fitness and some um, running in their legs. Um, but, you know, as a, as a group, we're sort of getting there. That's one of the good things at the moment is we haven't got a fully, foot, a fully fit squad and we've started really well. So hopefully when these boys come back, it puts a bit more pressure on everyone else in the squad and their places, etc. And uh, what are you hoping for Saturday? What are you hoping to achieve? What are you hoping to see on the day? Hopefully a clean sheet. That's, what, that's uh, obviously one of the main targets and I suppose three points the most important thing. Bit of a cliche but we'll go into every game looking to exploit opposition's weaknesses. So if we do that and do it well, hopefully we get the three points.